Hi, this is Outlaw Pete with another unboxing for MCE. Uh, quite a big one. My first and only one third scale purchase. Uh, this is Prime One Studios Red Sonia um, Deluxe version. As you can see, two boxes. I don't really have masses of space here to unbox this, so I'm going to get on with unboxing it. I'm all smartly dressed because I'm in between appointments at work and I can't wait to open it. So I'm going to get cracking on with unboxing it. Hopefully we'll have a bit more space once these boxes are out of the way. Here we go. So that took a lot longer than anticipated, nearly 45 minutes to put that together. I had to go to work in the meantime and uh, hopefully George will put the unboxing part of the video on super fast forward so you don't all switch to another video. But here it is, um, my first and only one third statue um, and my first Prime 1 purchase, um, Red Sonia. I thought uh, before we get into the close-ups I'd let you have a good look round. I know you can't see the top of the sword here. Um, with this setup, but I'm going to show you the other two swap outs and then we can have a, a close up look. It's an awesome statue, it's almost perfect. Um, there's some a number of things that could have been done better, but she in particular is stunning. Um, her hair, I've never seen uh, better sculpted hair than this, absolutely fantastic. And obviously, the, um, the snake. Or the basilisk or whatever it is uh, is pretty spectacular as well so let's just uh, bring her around and change this to the axe so you can see this is the deluxe version uh, 550 of these made and with the deluxe version you can put in the sword hilt when you've got the axe in play she is I might actually display it like this because I like the sword hilt in there as well um, but probably my favorite one let's just spin her around again so that you can see I don't know if you can see the top of the axe there or not I hope you can but let's uh, take this out and put in what is the standard and probably the way that I'm get, it's going to be displayed by most people most of the time, I would think. That's the one we just had in. So there she is pointing the sword at the snake or the basilisk. 
Okay, so let's get in and get some close-ups for you. Okay, here we go with the base. Uh, this is obviously her, uh, the basilisk or the snake's um, nest where it's killed lots of um, warriors previously. There's skulls everywhere. It's a nice sort of concrete underneath there and you can see skulls sort of wedged in underneath the snake's um, body. Again, some nice sort of shading and colouring um, on the sort of sub base there. Now I'm going to come up and you'll see that the colours of the, I'm going to call it the snake for this because otherwise I've got to keep saying all basilisk, are great. Lots of different colours of green shading, there's scratches and stab wounds. The bit that lets it down for me are the little snakes. They're all a flat, boring colour. Um, they could have been, you know, red and black or green and yellow. They could have been loads of different colours in these little snakes that would have made it really pop. But unfortunately, all the little snakes are boring green. They've been sculpted well, you know, you can see the scales on there, but why not make those different colours uh, prime one? That would have really made this pop. Again, um, for me, having them all the same, it looks like the painters just thought, oh, I'll just do all of those the same colour. They could have been all different. Whereas the main snake is absolutely fantastic. If we go and have a look in the sort of inside here, you can see um, skulls with blood dripping on them, um, where Sonia's fighting the snake. Again, a sort of concrete pedestal there that she's stood on inside. There's some cool parts with these. Let's, uh, here we can see one where the snakes are coming out of the eye sockets. And again, another one down here. All of that looks really cool, but it would have looked even better for me if they'd had sort of vibrant, different coloured snakes doing it. And again, there are some quite bad seams on some of these snakes. But for me, that's going to be behind it. I'm not going to see that. Also, I would point out that um, I don't know much about the character, but I think she's a sort of ancient character. And I can't imagine that there'd be tread on her boots. Uh, so I've got that neatly covered up with her cape. The cape, by the way, very nice quality. You can see it's uh, weathered down the bottom. It's velvet. And as you go up, there is wiring in it. But for me, it's best to keep it a bit out of the way. You've got um, fur here. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, for me, the star of the show is Sonia and the actual snake itself. But let's finish off having a look at... So she's got fur um, accents on her boots the boots are leather beautifully done again um, look at her gloves here absolutely fantastically sculpted looks amazing more skulls down the base and let's see if we can just have a look at uh, mr. snake now, phenomenal. I think it looks awesome. Even down to the sort of gold colour of his eyes and his spines. I did have a couple of breakages. Um, hopefully Sideshow are going to uh, reward me with amazing customer service. Uh, you can see a couple of them there. Statue gods weren't kind to me today, but again, look at that, phenomenal. Now for me, the best part of this whole statue is her hair. I've never seen hair sculpted like this, and when I first took the head out, I thought I was going to be sending the statue back. There is a little piece here that comes out of her hair. I'm not going to take it off, but she looked bald at the front, and then I found the other piece that went on. And just look at the detail in that hair. Look at the portrait. Look at her tits. Wow. Um, look at that hair. I think that is absolutely amazing. How that didn't come in pieces, I've no idea. But uh, that, luckily, was not damaged at all. And for me, 
you know, her the figure here is just superb. You can see her ribs through her skin, her belly button, and again the, the crease there, which is natural because of the way that she's posed. Excellent dynamic pose. And again, little details you're probably not even going to notice. She's wearing an earring in there. Sculpting on the sword. I think the blood on the sword could have been done better. Obviously, you can see brush lines there. I'm not sure that that's how a bloody sword would look. And again, there's a few dabs of blood on her. For me, that could have been done better as well. So this could have been perfect. It's not, but is any statue perfect? Let's get a look at her butt down there for the people that want to see that. So there is Prime One Studios Red Sonia Deluxe version. I'll just show you the um, exclusives. So we have a bloody axe. This makes it much higher, but it does mean you can put this in her sheath, um, which might be the way I display it. I probably won't display it with this one. It's very high, and for me, it looks better with the um, with the sword pointing at the snake. So let's just come back and get your final view. So, what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe to MCE.